Hey everyone, it's Ollie Lindley here from One Number, and today we're going to take a look at aggregation errors. So, what are aggregation errors? Well, you can run into aggregation errors all over the place, but today I've just got three to show you that maybe you've encountered day to day, and I'll show you how to solve them. So, the first aggregation error is something like this we've got profit divided by sum of sales. Right? Maybe you've seen that one before. Tableau throws a hissy fit, says, cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate arguments with this function. So we're going to fix that one. The next is this one. If state or province equals California, then sum of sales. And the error is not just because I don't have an end. The error is because we can't mix aggregate and non-aggregate arguments. Okay, interesting. That one looks correct, but let's, let's fix that one a little bit later. And the last one that I want to show you is this one. Case, measure swap, win one, then profit ratio, win two, then profit end. The error is can't mix aggregate and non-aggregate comparisons in a case expression. Okay, so those are the three that we're going to take a look at. If you want to follow along, the workbook is in the description. Uh, but today we're just going to use Superstore. So let me talk you through what happens when we don't aggregate fields in our calculations. So we'll just do something like profit divided by sales. Now, an aggregation is a computation that we apply to multiple values to return a single value. So in our case, we're not aggregating because we're not using an aggregation, right? A computation like sum, average, min, max, uh, any of those we could apply to a whole column of values to return just one, right? What's the sum of this column? What's the average of this column? Things like that. Over here, we're just saying, hey, take the profit, divide it by the sales, let's see what happens. We hit OK. I'm going to pop this on text. You see how it says sum profit divided by sales? Let me show you what's going on in our data source. So you'll notice when I click on this little column, we actually have a new one that's based on our calculation called profit divided by sales. So because I said profit divided by sales without an aggregation in the calculated field, Tableau is saying I'm going to take the profit value for this row, and I'm gonna divide it by the sales value for this row. And then it returns our profit divided by sales value based on the calculation. And Tableau just works its way down all the way through our data set running this calculation. So here's the principle. When you don't aggregate in a calculated field, you will get a result at a row by row level. Tableau will run that calculation for each row. However, if you do aggregate, in a calculated field, uh, where are we looking for profit ratio? If you do aggregate in a, pro in a calculated field like this one, sum of profit divided by sum of sales, how does that differ? Well, what we're saying to Tableau now is take the total profit, right? So add up everything in the profit column, then add up everything in the sales column and divide our total profit, right? Our sum of profit by total sales, sum of sales. So this is not being worked out at a row by row level because Tableau's already calculated the, the whole column, right? The total for the column of profit divided by the total for the column of sales. And that's why when we go back to our data source, there is no column called profit ratio, right? Because that's just a single number. It's not a row by row level. Uh, calculation. So we can see when we pull this onto, onto text, instead of saying some profit ratio or average profit ratio, we just get ag profit ratio, right? Tableau is indicating to us this calculated field is aggregated already in the calculation. Okay, that's what's going on. So what error do we run into? We run into an error when we give Tableau mixed signals, right? We say profit divided by sum of sales. Why? Because this is not aggregated, right? This is row by row, uh, and this is aggregated, or uh, kind of like an overall level. So Tableau is saying, well, what do you want? You want me to work this out row by row? Do you want me to work this out overall? Just make this clear to me. So here's the rule. All our calculated fields need to be aggregated. Uh, everything must be aggregated or nothing must be aggregated, but we can't do this middle ground, some aggregated, some not aggregated. Okay, so that's example number one. Where this gets a little bit more complicated is what about uh, running into these aggregation errors in our if statements? Sometimes these can look just fine. So I wanna show you this example, right? We're gonna try and isolate California sales. 
So let's create that field. And I'm just going to say if the state or province equals California, then uh, sum of sales end. Right? So if the state or province is California, tell me the sum of sales. What's the problem? Tableau is throwing up an error. You can't mix aggregate and non-aggregate comparisons. And it, it, maybe this doesn't make sense, but here's what's going on. The first part of this if statement is working out uh, at a row by row level, right? Uh, why? Because we're saying for every row, for the state and province field, every row, see if the state or province equals California. Isolate all those rows. Then we're saying the action that Tableau has to carry out is a, an aggregated action, right? It's saying, give me the sum of sales, give me the total, the overall sales. But Tableau is saying, hang on, I can't do this at a row by row level, give you all the, the states, I mean, all the rows that have a state of California and give you the sum of sales. So we need to break this up. The solution, and it looks a little bit weird at first, but it makes sense once we break it down, is to do this, right? If the state or province equals California, then sales end and then sum all of that. Why? Because we're saying, go through all the rows in our data set, find out if the state or province equals California, then give me the sales amount for every single row as you work your way through the data set. Once you've got all the totals, you know, once you've got all the row by row sales amounts where the state is California, add them all up, sum them all up and return that value. This is the solution. Tableau's happy. And I want you to remember this 457. So let's just pull this off and let's put California sales back on here. And there's our 457. Okay, beautiful. The last, uh, I just want to put in here case statements because the last uh, error that we run into is something like this. So we've just got a very simple measure swap parameter where we can swap between profit ratio and profit. So let's hook this up to a calculated field that allows our users to swap between profit ratio and profit. Measure swap. And so we're going to say, okay, in the case of our measure swap parameter, when one then, and one is already in the parameter, we won't break that down in too much detail. When one then profit ratio, and when two, then profit end. Okay, here's the error. And we'll break this down now. But let me just say, if this has been interesting to you, and you want to find out some more about what's going on, come and join us for a class uh, over the next little while. We've just uploaded a whole bunch of classes taking us through to the end of the year that we're super excited about. If you're a Tableau beginner, uh, we'd love to help you start out that journey well. And if you're a Tableau expert, we want to take your your Tableau knowledge to the next level. So come and check out those classes. They'll be in the description. Uh, they'll also pop up in this little information button now. We'd love to see you there. Okay, let's take a look at this. So case measure swap, what is the error? The same error, can't mix aggregate and non-aggregate comparisons. Here's what's going on. If I click on profit ratio, you can see that we have sum of profit divided by sum of sales. So actually this underlying calculated field is aggregated, but this field is non-aggregated. And it doesn't look like it on the surface because there's no aggregation in front of profit ratio. We haven't written sum of profit ratio, average profit ratio, you know, whatever it is. Uh, so just a heads up that we need to make sure everything is aggregated or nothing is aggregated. And so we need to change this to sum of profit or average profit or whatever it is. And that will be totally fine. And if we throw this on columns, just so that we can see how that works, we can now swap between those two measures. So I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any other questions, throw them into the comment section below. We'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. If you need any help with a Tableau project or uh, you want to ask some personalized questions, set up an office hour with us. We'd love to do that. We hope to see you at a class. And uh, if there's anything else we can help you with, uh, let us know and we'll do our best to get back to that. Awesome. Keep well until next time.